My top five tips for traveling with AT would be Remember that if it's disability specific equipment, um, the weight limits on your carry-ons don't really necessarily apply. Um, you can have exemptions to carry your uh, necessary assistive technology with you. Good planning, always good planning. I triple check hotels that are accessible for, for my uh, requirements. The various online cheap hotel stays now do have a button you can click for wheelchair accessible room, um, but I always telephone the hotel and double check that they have got written down that it's wheelchair accessible and I always, when I get the confirmation through for booking, I always check. You know, making sure that, you know, when you go on the plane, you've got your documents to get uh, your wheelchair battery is approved and all those sorts of things ahead of time. Be aware of what the airline's responsibilities are and just yeah, be, be aware of, of how that process is going to take place uh, for your safety as well as other passengers' safety. And you know, know that they are going to take you aside and pat you down uh, separately to, to everybody else. And just you know, be aware that you, you've got your carry-on luggage and you need to be able to take that with you uh, as independently as possible. Uh, so yeah, um, self-education. Uh, for, for travelling would be my biggest tip. Please respect within reason the airline's policies because they are there for the reason. One day, yes, we would all love to travel in our wheelchair to the plane, but right now it's not practical. If we all band together and work with the airline for change, it will be a lot better than working against the airline. A few more tips for Traveling would be to be minimal, downsize everything. If you don't need to take it, don't take it. Lots of planning and ask others that have done it. So don't try to work it out yourself. Ask others, people's advice every step of the way. Don't be afraid to ring up and ask information. It's asking information and asking for help it's another form of independence. Those people that don't know, there, there are some people that are, don't want to ask for help because they feel like they should know. You're not going to know everything. 